This short film is part of the story of Linnaise, the world's largest silo designed and built sailing catamaran. My name is Les Thompson and here I will explain the design and construction of the hydraulic legs that became such a feature of this vessel. On Linnaise's maiden voyage when anchored at Refuge Cove, I discussed the idea with friend Winston, seen here on the left. Linnaise's great size would make for very big problems for me after launching. Authorities would decide she was too big for the local jetties and the local slipways were built for much smaller boats. It was so much easier when she was ashore. How could I get her out of the water? Winston and I had an idea. Fit Linnaise with legs and feet pushed down by hydraulic rams. When run ashore, the feet and legs are lowered onto the bottom. The rams push down and if the legs slope backwards, Linnaise should begin to slide before the legs would lift her up. I tested the idea on the model, pushing upwards with pencils sharpened both ends and acting exactly as the legs would do. I would retract the legs after each push until nearly vertical, then push again. I took the chance that it would work and built the feet and legs, fitting a pair of hydraulic rams for each leg and a VW engine to operate the hydraulics. We ran Linnaeus ashore for the big test. The bows lifted up somewhat as she stopped and stuck fast. Using their simple winches I then set about letting down the feet and legs. Once down, I kneeled under the wheelhouse floor to watch through a hatch and control their operation. With the feet down, I set the hydraulic rams going down, but I could only see the legs, the feet being underwater. Were they slipping or was the boat sliding? I couldn't tell. But the feet weren't slipping, the boat was sliding. Push by push, Linnaeus emerged from the water to sit high and dry on the shore. Launching is simply a reversal of the procedure, and keeping a leg vertical enabled me to jack that hull onto blocks. It wasn't foolproof. In Queensland, I lost control. The boat slewed against the leg, collapsing it. Using the generator on the hydraulics engine, I was able to repair the leg. Relying on the lifting chain to hold the leg up at sea was too dangerous, so I fitted a frame that could be held up by a bolt and would support the foot regardless of the chain. Without those legs, how would I have been able to maintain the underwater parts and anti-foul such a big boat? There was little tide in the lakes, there were no slipways big enough and their cost would have been prohibitive anyway. For Linnaeus, the hydraulic legs were a project saviour. Once ashore, everything was accessible. I could work on the boat for months at a time with only a small rental cost for the farmer's land. I could keep my mighty boat going when otherwise I would have been forced to sell prematurely and before I could enjoy it, such as here sailing around Australia. I hope you've enjoyed this short film. More information can be found by searching for Linnaeus on the internet.